intrigued by this. So, oh, look at the tiny baby. Well spotted, David. Sorry, I'm too busy talking nonsense. Anyways, I went and tried to move that boulder that that, that big baboon had used one hand uh, to move. I couldn't even budget. It was incredible. So that was the day that I learned how strong baboons really are. Oh, so tiny. There's another little one just over there that's coming out on the termite mount. Oh, wow. That's also very tiny. You can see it quite nicely because mom's sitting out in the open with it now. Isn't that so small? And you look at it, just watching the older older ones play around and one day when you're more steady on your feet and you have a bit more coordination you'll also be playing with the rest of the troop so don't worry don't feel left out now little monkey you'll be fine I saw vervet monkeys as well they were around a beautiful camp called Olashaki which is where we spent the night and I was telling you how I hadn't seen any vervets yet but I managed to get some Oh, that is so precious. Now, I hope you're all taking lots of screenshots. Remember to hashtag Safari Live. And it will be nice to see all of these. We don't get to spend quality time with the Chukma baboons in South Africa. They're very, very much afraid of people. And obviously being out here in remote Africa, only really harassing lodges every now and then. They're not too really, well, not scared of us at all. They haven't had, haven't had too much conflict with humans, which is great. It's really good for us. We can sit and watch them like this. Beautiful. But we need to keep a mood, move on. We need to jump into second gear now and head towards the gate. Jamie suspects that she may have uncovered another hyena den.